Hello, hello one. Hi, can you hear that? Uh, yes. Okay. Hello, hello one. Thank you all for attending this session. My name is Chen Fu Wen uh, from the Light Heart Company. Today, I want to share one topic about license learned shift lab testing. So it is quick overview about me. I have more than 17 years of testing and automation experience. Now I am based in Beijing of China. My prior work experience, including Oracle, Motorola, and Siemens. I am enthusiastic in open source software. Let's jump right into agenda today. First of all, I will introduce some basics about shift left testing. Then followed by why we need shift left testing. Finally, I will share some best practice from our team. So what is shift lab testing? So in order to have a clear understanding about shift lab testing, we need to put it into comparison with the typical quality model. As shown in this diagram, in the typical quality model, all the, test, all the activities are sequential order starting from requirement, design, code, test, release, and uh, maintenance. And the uh, requirement, design, are uh, given small attention. Code and the testing are uh, given much more attention, but which happen in the late, very late in the project life cycle. So the issue of what defines a founder very late, which is very expensive to fix that. It also results in failure, soft, well delivered on time and the poor production quality. Compared with the typical code model, in the shift left model, the try to create one culture where tests can be involved earlier in the phase, earlier phase. Even test can begin at the very beginning of this project life cycle. Since testing activity start very earlier, so issue or defects can be found earlier and fixed. Therefore, testing become effective and a better quality product can be achieved. After we learn some basic about shift lab testing, we know that shift lab testing is the ideal knowledge is just a test much knowledge. For a particular organization, for, that, for example, in that height, it has its own way or approach to implement, improvement, implement shift left practice. In that height, particular for real product release or that height enterprise Linux release, we adopt dive test doc workflow in the shift left Hello. This song that the uh, video playing is. I'm so internet. sorry. I accidentally closed this tab. Um, I apologize for that. Let me go back.
Is this the good point? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm so sorry. <laughs> As example, in that height, this height. Okay, I'm not sure why the audio is different. Oh, um, okay. Is now good? For a particular organization, for, that, for example, in that height, it has its own way or I approach I apologize. for implement, improvement, implement, shift left practice. In that head, particular for real product release or that head enterprise Linux release, we adopt dive test doc workflow in the shift left practice. In the past, and in the past, we used the waterfall model driven by Elata workflow when we release real product. Which is showing in on the top list page. As we can see, testing and the docs activities are done too late. After we learn some experience, we change it to real shift left workflow, which is showing on the bottom of this page. We shift dive, we shift test and the doc activities to the left as early as possible. In this way, issue or defect can be found earlier and less expensive to fix that. It eventually guarantee our product qualities. In that height, not a particular to the real product. For any product or service delivered by that height, we lay all share the same quality standard. So let me just bring you to the that height quality region. That height quality region is the that had quality commitment to the customer about its product and service. It describe how that had treat quality about its product and service. Here is the statement to elevate the quality of that had products and service, ensuring world-class enterprise grade software and service at the speed that meets our customer needs for an excellent hybrid cloud experience. Just now I share the quality, quality reading statement. It gives customer the quality preview about that had product and service. But they say important that how can we achieve this quality vision? What focus we should have from the QE perspective? There are a few key points worth knowing here. First, testing with the portfolio mindset. In that head, we deliver open hybrid cloud solution to customer which in integrating main multi-product and service by apply by applying portfolio mindset, testing multi-product along the platform, 
at the early at the, at at early test phases phase at the early phase it will definitely create a better quality solution customer driven testing customer driven testing apply customer use case into earlier testing customer pain points are found and fixed at the early phase a solution with easy smooth pleasant customer experience can be delivered the third point has earlier test often feeling fast these are typical philosophy of shift left testing by embedding shift left practice into software development life cycle a fast and a solid quality solid software release can be achieved as well final point automation 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 always play a very critical role in powering shift left testing practice if your team are going changing from traditional quality model to shift left quality model this is a big transition perhaps you need to think about how that can be ready so i suggest there are several key elements you need to care about because these elements play a very huge impact on the tradition first is process your team process needed to be optimized for any stakeholders including developers quality engineering po or doc writers to do their contributions easily the cross team interaction is empowered as well people any stakeholders in the team need a change mindset they need more work more closely need to work with each other more collaboratively and also need to pro provide fast feedback to each other final is technology new tools need to uh, be adopted in the whole life cycle management new skills or knowledge are also need to be learned so now we enter the second part why why we need to adopt shift left testing practice in that height when we drive towards shift left testing we get a few obvious benefits from that first is we get a better quality product in shift left testing practice we execute testing continuously and the test test case are executed again and again in the end it reduces defects and eventually we get a better quality product second reduce cost since test activity are executed at the early phase so issue or defects are found and the less expensive to fix that so it will reduce project cost speed up time to market remember we automate everything 
in the shift that testing practice. So it will increase time to market. Final benefit, lower the risk. Since more in shift left testing practice, issue or defects, much more issue or defects are prevent, pre, prevented rather than detected. That's largely lower the project risk. Particularly in Red Hat organization. And that's sort where we move forward. Shift that testing practice is that it help promote our customer centric plan. Many developers I worked with in the past, they develop their feature based on their understanding about the requirement and the business. However, how customer use the software differently from with what you assume. So in order to delight the customer and increase customer satisfaction, in that heart, we transfer transfer from feature view to customer orientation view. We are driving customer centric strategy. So from QE perspective, in applying shift level testing parties, QE can completely, completely focus on customer use case and the customer expectation and uh, apply customer use case into the early testing. This in turn will enable developers to develop a feature which to meet customer real need. Furthermore, after customer file ticket or use case, QE can close loop the use case by adding test, automate it and execute that in the early phase. Now we end the final part. What experience of best practice from our team? So what we are doing from our team? Our team is uh, labeled QE, is the quality engineer, the quality engineer. We focus on testing the board component in the real product. So what is the board? The board is a, a library that allowed application to conveniently manage virtual machine. It is a upstream project. So how we do testing before? In Nibla QE, we have an idea of test pyramid. We categorize tests into tier different level, like pyramid, pyramid, pyramid as showing in the diagram, starting from the bottom, tier one test, 
typically presenting unit test to the bottom, to the top, till file test, typical represent UI or export test. In the past, all the tier test, almost all the tier test will be executed in the test phase, which is very late position in the software de development life cycle. And we notice the issue and the defects of found in the test phase and the layer, layer by the cost fixed light is expensive. After we recognize the shift left, shift left, shift left test practice value, we change light. So how we test now? In Libre QE, we recognize shift left testing equal to upstream first testing. As I mentioned pre previously, Libre is upstream project. So we try to move more tier test or Level test to the upstream. The workflow is quite simple, as I show, showing in the page, in this page. It is started by a patch post to upstream code. Then it will notify tester. Tester will prepare one test environment and uh, build one computer liberal component with patch applied. Then certain type cases are selected and executed. That. Finally, the results will be sent out. So in a summary, particular to liberal query team, our shift left practice is move many more test cases into the upstream and execute that on the upstream code. Finally, I want to give some summary about practice. First, plan non-functional tests earlier. Even as a requirement review, you can plan your performance or security, etc. testing. Pair with developers. QE and the developer need more work closely. They need to share the same understanding about requirement. Upstream first approach, particular to liberal QE team, we find issue or defects as upstream code. And then we also pull much more cases executed or upstream. The final practice is automate anything. You can automate test case. You can automate pipeline. Eventually, automation will help you a lot. So with that, I think I finished my slides presentation part. Presentation part.
All right, thank you so much for that presentation. And now it looks like we have a number of questions that have come in for you, Chen Fu. Um, so let's start with the very first one. Um, Lenny asks, what have you found helpful in reducing testing fatigue when design requirements change a lot? Yes, uh, see the question. Uh, I try to understand it uh, more. So yeah, yeah. Uh, in testing practice, we uh, we meet a uh, mid design situation that design or requirement uh, sub subject to constant changes. Uh, so in shield lab testing, we uh, encourage that. Uh, uh, College engineering can be uh, earlier involved uh, a requirement and uh, design review and show some common understanding about uh, design or requirements. So by doing that, uh, Because the, by doing that, they, they have more uh, opportunity to, to discuss and uh, show common standing. So, but, so QE can uh, have more earlier planned test cases uh, and uh, uh, even the lot of automation uh, uh, script to, to for that. So I think that can be one uh, one way to reduce the test uh, uh, vertical size, something like uh, something like this. Yeah. Okay. Um. I guess one of the questions that I get already wanted to ask as well is how do you implement shift test le ah, shift left testing in a way that um like would be adaptable with the design or requirements change in response to customer feedback? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, we, we are two way uh, to uh, adopt the uh, customer feedback into the uh, loop in the ship light testing. So f f uh, you, the first way is that uh, uh, when uh, when we test a uh, QE engineer in uh, participates the earlier requirement or design review, like that has an expertise to know customer uh, use case. So when they review, they can contribute the idea and uh, uh, submit some comments about the requirement or the design. The second way is that uh, QE uh, can uh, close one loop. For example, if a customer files some tickets or files some use cases, so QE can learn the same thing. And uh, they, then after that, they can uh, bring that to their uh, test case and uh, automate that. And uh, in the next loop, they can uh, execute that as well yeah okay um if the feature engineer may feel that we're testing a rough draft as opposed to testing in the waterfall style um when we test after the feature is done like uh, i guess sorry, that, uh, um, i'm sorry that was just an example of the previous question yeah. um and then the next question is how do you suggest that um, we test things like requirements and design specs? Uh, yes, uh, we, we, uh, we, we know that uh, if QE can be involved too earlier to review with the requirement, uh, the, the different way can be uh, uh, test, uh, test that. One way is that uh, 
they can uh, I just mentioned that they can bring some expertise about the uh, use case, a customer use case, so they can be uh, contribute uh, questions and the comment. Uh, and uh, when 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 the comment is uh, not uh, uh, meet the customer need, they can uh, suggest in police suggestion. So uh, testing the comment doesn't mean that you need to uh, write some script or code. Second is the review uh, and the contribution from the customer use point of view. So in that way. When developer implementation, uh, they can be really uh, uh, meet the customer need at the design phase or after design phase they implement it. Implementation can really uh, 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 delight the customer, right? yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much for this talk. This is really awesome. Um, if anyone would like to talk with Chen Fu after this. We do have a breakout room. Um, I just posted the link in the chat. Um, and Chen Fu will be there. And everyone can talk and ask more questions.